What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. So today we're installing a wig and if you want to see how we do that, check this out. Hey everyone, it's Wani and as you hear, I have Mina with me today. Hey y'all, what's poppin'? She's gonna be helping me do my voiceover, so let's get into this. Shout out to this user that asked me if I do lace wigs because I do. So here's a tutorial. I start off with bleaching the knots. As you can see, I use 20 volume developer and bleach powder. You wanna make sure the consistency is really thick so that way it doesn't run through the lace. So here you guys, you're gonna see Wani's artistic ability right here is giving Picasso, okay? She's over here, Michelangelo, all them artists and all them. She's giving paint, okay? It's giving painter, it's giving artiste. She's going to be painting the lace with this bleach with a plastic knife. Me, personally, personally, I wouldn't be getting into that, but you know, you know, she's doing her thing. She's giving really, it's really nice. I like how she's actually painting this. She's very detailed, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be real light-handed when you're doing this because you don't want the bleach to run through and having all y'all scalps looking like an orangey mess. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're giving Picasso. Yeah. Ciao, anyways, wash that out and then boom, here we go. All right, so I slapped my wig onto the little mannequin. It is so unstable. <laughs> we are so unserious, but anyway, the neck of this stand is so wobbly, but yeah, I put the wig on it because I'm gonna start plucking the knots. They're there I go, there I go. Oh, look, look at her, me. look at her, bow, hey, bow, bow. Hey. <laughs> all you wig makers, all you wig installers, all the wig people, anybody that loves to do wigs just on their free time, especially y'all, anybody who, deals with wigs i give y'all a round of applause because plucking yo y'all pluck forever and this part took i don't even know how long but you're gonna pluck until your arms give out i don't know why i can't do it not gonna lie i half-assed the other side but it came out decent here we go i hate the freaking uh prison braids meek mill looking First of all, they look cute, okay? I don't even know what they're giving, though. This part is scary. Like, and the fact that you even made these parts, like, you know, without a mirror and everything, just freehanding it, you did good. You thank did you, good. thank you. I'll be trying. I'll be trying. Okay. But yeah, here I go. So here I go, cutting off the, um... The cap is really giving scalp, okay? It's giving bald. Y'all, the braids are giving ludicrous. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just continuing to cut off the cap. Me After so. I get done with the scissors, I'm gonna grab a little eyebrow shaver and take off the rest. Y'all are gonna have to forgive me because I ran out of storage several times and the video kept cutting off, so I didn't get every single second. But there's so many wig videos on YouTube. Y'all got it. And for the loose ends of the cap, I use a rat tail comb and the ebon spray, the yellow one, to help lay it down. Next, you wanna slip that bad boy on and make sure it fits properly. If you like this unit, I do have a few of these for sale. I'll go ahead and leave a link below in the description box, so check it out. So again, I'm using the Ebon Spray to make sure that the cap is super flat because you'll see it under the lace otherwise. If your wig cap is not your shade, please go ahead and put some makeup on there or some sort of tint so that it doesn't look crazy under your lace. Okay, guys, it's giving bald headed scallywag to real from real and chance. It's giving luscious hair. I love it. So, over here at this part, she's just gonna cut down the lace a little bit, not too much, because she does have to start gluing. So, then I grab the Flawless Solutions, which is Kellen's brand. If you don't know who Kellen is, Kellen is Magna Sai and Stally is. So, shout out to him. The glue works wonders. It's great. I love it. I apply two layers this time, I believe. Make sure each layer of glue is dried before you apply the next layer. Also, just another note, the glue is fight proof. <laughs> so whenever you're ready to swing on somebody or anything, just know that glue got you. No, not it's not. Coming it's off. not. <laughs> Forgot the brand of the wax stick, but it's a real popular one. I just use that to help lay down them hairs because if y'all know about them frontals, they're know. so hard to get them to look flat. Child. So hard. So hard. Be careful with them hot combs because they are scary. You know how many times she was burning herself, y'all? Man, <laughs> I burned myself several times. So many times. Don't be like me. Do not use scissors to cut your lace. Please get an eyebrow shaver and do like a zigzag line across your forehead or else it's gonna look really scary. Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all can see the difference between the side that I plucked really well and the side I just kind of like. And I hope you guys noticed the scalp. 
Scalpiana. Scalpiana. Okay, it's giving natural. It's giving real. It's giving hairline. Period. Period. The other side, not so much, but this side. Okay. This side looks great. Period. The other so, side look good too, though. Don't play yourself. Whatever. Um, I went in with my flat iron and straightened my hair out because, yeah, I had that braid from the beginning in for like a whole year, believe it or not. So I would recommend using a small flat iron for this because, again, I burnt myself. Fun fact about me, I hate baby hairs. I hate the dramatic look. I mean, no offense to y'all that do because y'all be killing it, but it's not for me. I like a more subtle, more natural baby hair look. So I'm gonna cut them sideburns down because they look crazy. Don't judge me, I'm using a toothbrush. I know some of y'all be using toothbrushes too. Exactly. Okay. And it's an African toothbrush. If you know, you know. So a wig band is a must. You need to let your edges and all that stuff cook under there. Um, here I'm just blow drying it. We're talking deep fry. Literally. Okay. Marinate. All right, so this is the finished look. I was kind of rushing, so I didn't get to really do as much as I want, but I think it looks real good. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.